In this video, you will learn how to use a planer. The planer is a motorized planing tool used to flatten surfaces and remove stock. Always wear a dust mask, safety glasses and earmuffs when you use power tools. Before handling power tools, read and follow all instructions for use, maintenance and safety provided by the manufacturer. The planer has a set of two or more rotating blades that cut into wood as the tool is pushed across the surface. The tool rests on a perfectly flat base plate. A V-shaped groove on the base plate makes it easier to chamfer edges. The fence is inserted from one side to keep the planer on a straight path by locking the distance from the edge of the workpiece. The depth adjustment knob changes the level of the front section of the base plate, effectively setting the depth of the cut. The dust extraction port blows out the wood dust that is created by the blades. The handle allows a firm grip and holds the trigger that powers the planer. A shoe at the base of the planer makes sure that the blade doesn't come into contact with the surface that it rests on. The two key steps are planing with the free hand and planing with the fence. Step 1. Planing with the free hand. Place the front part of the base plate on top of the workpiece as shown applying downward pressure to hold it flat against the surface. Push forward steadily along the work surface, releasing the downward pressure to let the weight of the tool do the job. Run more passes of the planer over the work surface until you have the desired result. Step 2. Planing with the fence. Insert the fence into its slot so that it is flat against the edge of the workpiece as shown. Set the distance of the planer from the edge and tighten the screw that holds the fence in place. Start by applying downward pressure on the front of the tool as before. Support the side of the tool so that the fence holds the planer on a straight path as you push it forward. If your planer is not equipped with a shoe, you can protect the blade by resting the planer on a piece of scrap wood. You may also simply rotate the blade out of the way before you rest it down. You now know how to use a planer.